What's up, Lee Genius? How are you guys doing today? In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing how you can install the official SteamOS from Valve under Lenovo Legion Go. If that's something you guys were interested in, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Now, let's get right into this video. So, to get started, you're going to need to download the Steam image. Now, the original Steam image from the Valve or Steam website doesn't work officially. So, you're going to have to come to this website here. And then you want to find this one. You have to make sure that you download the right one. And it's this one right here for March 20th, uh, 1716. So again, we're just going to click this one here and then we want to make sure that we get the Steam Deck repair. Again, make sure that this is the exact number here and make sure that is this one right here with 3.1 gigs. So we're going to hit this one right here. We're going to download this. You guys are going to see it's going to download right here. So the next thing that we're going to need to do is download uh, Belina Etcher right here. So we're going to go all the way to the bottom. We're going to find it for Windows. I'm going to hit download here too. So this is how we bring the image to our USB-C to put it on the Lenovo Legion Go to install it. So make sure that you have this downloaded here. All right. So once that's done downloading here, we want to open up Belina Etcher again. Uh, we're going to install that. Once you've installed it, you're going to open it up here. So next, we're going to put the USB-C in the Legion Go, and we're going to open up Belina Escher, as you see right here. We're going to click File here, and then again, you're going to want to go to the download where you downloaded the repair image. Make sure that you extract it, but you're going to click this. You're going to see this here, so you're going to hit Open. You're going to hit that. Then you're going to select the target and you're going to find the USB uh, C that you want to install it. So make sure you click that, hit select one. And then next you're just going to hit flash and then it's going to flash it onto this. All right. So the next step is we're going to need to, all right. So the next step is we're going to need to make some changes to the bios when it comes to booting this up. So to get to the bios, you're going to hold the volume marker plus button here and the power button for about two seconds, release the power button. And this should be able to take you to the BIOS, as you can see here. So now that we're in the BIOS, we're going to go to BIOS setup here. And then next, we're going to go to more settings here. And next, we want to go to config. And we want to make sure that the UMA frame uh, buffer size is set to auto. Normally set six, so make sure you put that to auto here. And next you want to go to security and then you want to find secure booth and you want to disable that. So make sure that that's disabled. So once you've done that, you then want to hit exit and save changes, hit yes here, and then you should be good to go. So next you just want to take the USB drive that you saved the steam OS image in. You want to put it into your USB C port, like you see right here. And then you want to then go back to the boot menu. So again, we're going to hit up volume here, hit power button a couple of seconds, and then we're going to release it. All right. So as you can see, we're back to the screen. We're going to hit boot menu here, and then we're going to find the USB stick that we have here. So as you can see, USB 3.0. So we're going to click that. And it's going to do a thin here. All right. So when that is all said and done, you brought to the screen. You just want to hit re-image team image here. And then this is a warning just letting you know what is going to take place. So you're going to hit proceed and you should be good to go. It's going to do a thin here. All right. So next it's going to get hung up in the Lenovo Legion Go screen. What you want to do is just go back to uh, the boot menu. So again, we're going to hold the uh, up button and the power button seconds and then we're going to release all right so here we're going to hit the usb disk again we're going to let it do its thin all right so when we get to the screen we're going to hit reinstall steam os here and then we're going to hit proceed here and then we're going to also let it do its thin all right so if you did that correctly it should bring you here to where you can sign into your steam os account all right so when you get here it's important that you do sign into wi-fi here because it doesn't sign in automatically and then you put in your steam account all right so here we have steam os running on this device next we're going to want to enable developer mode here so next we want to go to developer mode here 
and then we want to click show advanced channels here so next we want to go to system here and then we want to change this to main here and then we want to change this and next we want to change this from stable to steam deck beta here hit restart all right so when that's all said and done we're going to check for updates so next we're going to check for updates and then we're going to download the latest 3.7.3 .3 preview here we're going to hit apply we should be good to go all right when it's all said and done we're going to hit restart all right so here we have it the latest steam os preview so if we hit this button it should get you to the uh steam button is pretty much this right here and then this is the tdp setting button here as you can see here most of the stuff is here as well with this latest update you have the ability to set frame limit here scrolling down there's different filters skill and mode that you can choose from and again it's pretty cool that this is now officially working on the well, no Legion Go, not officially, but this is the latest driver. So I'll be doing some testing on this and I'll be testing out some games and I will give you guys my overall impression about how this works on the Lenovo Legion Go. Let me know if you guys found this video helpful. Appreciate you guys. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Until next time, peace out.